take a time to build some peace. First off, I just hit 1,000 subscribers about two weeks ago. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. For this update, I'm intentionally keeping things simple. usually love spending weeks on an edit and lighting like I did for the Ford Proto Shield project. But today isn't about fancy effects. It's just about the story. So I'm using straight cuts and these AI clips to catch you up on where I've been. I've been gone from YouTube for a while. I was dealing with some tough personal issues. During that time, I took a break from electronics. Once the AI boom started, I made AI a major part of my life and work. Spending about five months making AI-only videos. Eventually, those issues led to the loss of my entire lab. My computers, my Arduinos, my life's work. I had to start over from zero. But looking back, that gap turned out to be a blessing. We don't just dream the code. We build a whole new episode. Yeah, check the beat. We build a new elite. Hey, Tonic Maker. Got the code and the heat. Hack it, make it, share it. Yeah, you know the sound. Yeah, you know Tronic Maker. Build it from the ground up. It gave me a new skill set. And now that I'm rebuilding, I can merge that AI work directly with the new Arduino ecosystem. Without hardware, I focused on learning because Videotronic Maker is about showing you what I learned. So I started preparing immediately. When the Arduino Uno Q was announced, I fed the user manual into Gemini so I could learn the specs. We used that knowledge to brainstorm a specific project a desktop robot assistant. It's not enough to keep the code on screen to make it real. A physical machine got the- That is an absolutely perfect project for the Arduino Uno Q. You have described the exact type of advanced, hybrid application that this board is designed to enable. This idea of a physical robot interacting with a cloud-based AI like Gemini is precisely where the dual brain architecture excels. The idea was to create a functional bot with arms and a screen that could sit right on the desk to help me work. Gemini analyzed the manual and confirmed that this concept was technically feasible. And even without my own gear, I found a way to start testing. During that 14 month period, I was helping my daughter learn Arduino to build her college resume. Flagellates, light levels in the air. Hook the Uno R4 to the matrix mouth. Measuring the lux levels, check the data out. First place in engineering, that's the dub of you. Now I'm on my two, my mama one school. She bought an Uno R4, and when she was done with her project, I borrowed it. Since it has an LED matrix similar to the new Uno Q, I used it to write the code and animate the robot's mouth. That kept me moving forward while I waited. Once validated, I visualized the full build. I took an image of the Uno board, GIMPT, not Photoshop, two arms and a 14 inch screen onto it and fed that composite to Gemini Nano Bananas. It generated the concept art you see here. I even used Google Veo to simulate how it would move all without needing complex 3D software. Set the parameters for the next simulation. Inputting parameters for environmental simulation. I'm not an engineer, I'm your classmate. Check it, check it, check it, check it. I'm not an engineer, I'm your classmate. Get it, get it. I'm not a degreed engineer. 
a lot of this plan was based on what I saw in the manual, Gemini's analysis, and my past experience with boards like the Raspberry Pi or the Aces Tinkerboard. Bank screen cursor blinks, the system waits, type the But I didn't keep these plans secret. I was posting these concept images on LinkedIn, and I noticed something interesting. Engineers from Qualcomm, people from Edge Impulse, and the team at Arduino were reading those posts and hitting like. For me, that was a crucial signal. Since I'm not an engineer, I figured if my design was impossible, these experts wouldn't be engaging with it. So I want to say thank you to those people. Your support let me know that my ideas weren't crazy. Otherwise, you wouldn't be reading them. That validation was incredibly helpful. I noticed the attention and I really appreciate it. I think that is why Arduino helped me out. I have to give a special thank you to the team for getting the Uno Q to me so fast. It feels great to be noticed by them, and their support meant I could turn those concepts into physical reality immediately. The first step was validation. I needed to know if I could run a UI and the Gemini API directly on this board. This is where those five months of AI videos really came into play. You might remember I made videos showing how I learned to run local LLMs using LM Studio and how I built a browser-based Gemini chat with an elegant UI. I took that specific experience, the API integration and the UI design and brought it all together here. Systems Online. Videotronic Maker OS is ready. What is your name? My designation is Sparkle. What is the system status? All systems nominal. CPU load is 74.6%. RAM usage is 65.2% and core temperature is 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Camera state is DISabled. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. My name is Sparkle. Arduino was named after the Bar di Re Arduino, King Arduin's Bar, in Ivrea, Italy, where the founders used to meet. Arduino. Il suo nome risuona dal leggendario bar di Re Arduino a Ivrea Italia, il sacro punto d'incontro dei suoi visionari fondatori. It began in a bar, in Ivrea, Italy. Bar di Re Arduino, they called it, King Arduin's bar. There, where the coffee was strong and the talk was of circuits, the founders met. They spoke of a new board, simple and true. The name took hold, born from that place of camaraderie and clear purpose. Strong, direct. It was good.
、フン主合一家主合、在位代理的異常来合、ハザー異人国王主合、高い厳格証拠、在なり各官中、人海賞賛サーロ、禁止人家総主、保海賞賛、新的サーロ版、官保が真珠、本座明治遊歩補正、現時南上住宅遊場は名府、木遁的地方、官獣、直接、参考。Understood. Speak to you later. From the wire to the web. First place is awarded to Hannah Padilla. To the bread bar. We don't just dream a code. Happy 18th birthday, Hannah. We've got a whole new episode. More than just the tech, I love making tutorials that are actually helpful. That is why I believe in this DeskBot project. For me, it's an amazing tool, and building it is attainable. By integrating AI, we ensure it stays useful, and adding the arms gives it utility. Building this is going to be a great learning experience. My separate projects have finally merged. The AI planning and the physical engineering are now one system. It feels good to be building again. Learn with me as I learn. Videotronic make your desktop system loading. Learn with me as I learn.